Hi, my name is Piotr and I work here at Zmorph as a product expert. Today I will show you in a series of videos why Zmorph is the best all-in-one 3D printer on the market, how easy it is to use it, what kind of materials it can process and how it can change your desktop into a workshop. In this video, I will be talking about our new single 175 Smart Extruder. It got new look and some new cool features. First thing that makes it hassle-free is redesigned hot end and thermal barrier. New thermal barrier gives us better heat distribution, which makes the extruder less possible to get clogged during printing with more demanding materials like nylon. Another feature that makes this tool head awesome is the filament sensor. So forget about a finished print due to the lack of the filament on the spool. Another change in the tool head is the nozzle. Before we supplied 0.3 nozzles, but right now, due to the need of our customers, we supplied the extruder with 0.4 nozzle. So now I will show you how easy and hassle-free it is to use. Normally when you buy the printer, the 175 single extruder is mounted. But for the video purposes, I dismounted the tool head just to show you how to mount it back properly. So let's move on with mounting the tool head on the X carriage. First thing you need to look at are the hooks. They are on the back of the extruder. You need to put them in the hooks slot that are, that are on the X carriage. You simply slide them in and then you slide the extruder in. Press it from the top to make sure it fits. Now you can tighten the screw on the front of the extruder. You can try to shake it to see if it's tight. Okay, now to the cables. At the beginning you plug the white plug the frame of the printer. Then you connect the plug plug to the right side of the frame of the printer. Now you can connect the small plugs. They are between the X carriage and the tool head. There's a white left side called A and A and black right side called B and B. The tool head is ready to use. As you can see, the printer has detected 175 single extruder correctly. Now, I will load the filament so I can start printing. To do it, I will go to Maintenance, Filament Load, and there I will preheat the extruder for the filament I wish to use. I will go with PLA. Okay, when the extruder reached the exact temperature of PLA, we can insert the filament on the top guide hole on the extruder. As you can see, there is no need to press feed on the screen of the printer. The filament sensor automatically sends the filament and turn the feed option on. After the filament flows out from the nozzle, I am sure that it have reached the end of the extruder. Last point is the auto calibration to make sure that the first layer of the print will be well leveled. Let's go back to the main menu. Now again I go to the maintenance, calibrate and three point calibration. Now the printer will check the three probing points. I have made the basic calibration now, but I can make sure that everything is all right by checking the level of calibration by printing so-called calibration pattern. Let's do it right now. Press start, then press next and next again. The printer will print now five lanes each with different Z height. After this, 
I can choose which line I like the most by visual validation and the printer will set the Z height to this exact line. Now I will go back to the main menu. But instead of going to maintenance, this time I will go to the new job. Now I will see the internal drive of the printer. I will go to the folder named examples and look for the single extruder. In this folder I will see only one G-code called 3D printing both G-code. Select it and press next. Now the printer will start to heat up, because the G-code had already information about filament temperatures inside the code. But before we press start, I will apply printing glue and clean the bed. To do it, press move the bed. The bed will go back and to the maximum fourth position. Now by using the spatula, you can remove the lines from calibration. When the bed is clean, you can apply the printer stick to increase the adhesion of the print. I know that the print will print in the middle of the heated bed, so I can apply the glue only there. Okay, after applying the glue, we can press start. The printer will inform us that we are using PLA and we need to apply the cooling fan. After applying the cooling fan, we press next and print will start automatically. the filament from the nozzle we go to maintenance, load filament and we preheat it to PLA. Now when extruder reached the temperature of PLA we press reverse. And we remove the filament from the nozzle.